Are you looking to extend your workspace when you're on the go as if you were home? I got you. And we're back, DLG fam. Welcome to everyone. Welcome to all the new viewers. Y como siempre, bienvenidos a todos al canal DLG. Gracias por tomar el tiempo en venir a nuestro canal. So guys, I did mention extend your desktop, right? I'm not talking about your home desktop. I'm talking about the desktop that's from your actual laptop. And many of us use laptops on a daily basis, but we're restricted to that one small screen and we wish we had just a little bit more real estate to be able to work with. For example, me, I need more real estate because I have to have various folders and applications open while I'm editing. And I dislike switching between windows when I can actually just reach over and grab folders from somewhere else. I'm already giving you a little too much because a company by the name of G-Story has this amazing product. And what am I talking about? BAM! The G-Story Portable Dual Monitor. Like I told you guys, extend your desktop to your laptop, the device that's with you on the go. We're going to unbox this, see how bulky it is, if it's capable of going with you everywhere you go, and test it out. So let's go to the unboxing, guys. All right, guys, there it is, the G-Story portable dual monitor. This can be used on a laptop via USB-A or USB-C. These are two 14-inch monitors FHD that function at 1080p. It says it's compatible with Mac, Windows, Chromebooks, and laptops anywhere between 13 to 17 inches. So let's go ahead and uh, take this out of the box and see what does it look like. All right, so what comes in the box? Let's go ahead and take this out. And this appears to be a carrying case. Okay, so you're able to take the monitors with you. I guess you slide them in here and you got the little G-Story branding on the top left of the bag. This bag is uh, soft from the inside to go ahead and protect the monitors. It has little handles here so you could take it with you on the go. What else comes in here? All right, so it has a little manual here. All right, portable dual monitors, package list. Got the monitor set, 14 inch monitors times two. Oh, a multifunctional base bracket. So that appears to be, I don't know if you guys have seen those multi-monitors that hang from the screen itself. I feel like those put a lot of strain on the actual monitor hinges. And this has a base. We're going to see how does that actually look. It also comes with a signal cable box, driver USB flash disc, the storage bag, the manual, and the Allen key wrenches. All right, let's set this to the side and continue with the unboxing. All right, what else comes in here? Here's the USB drive. I think this has the drivers that you need to install on your PC in order for it to actually function. PC, Mac, or Chromebook. Here's the two Allen wrenches. All right, let's go ahead and take the monitors out and see what do they look like. Okay, what's up? what else is in here? What is this? This appears to be a two year warranty. Activate your warranty now. We'll take care of that afterwards. All right, so here's the base itself. This area right here allows you to insert a fan. They actually have two models, a fanless one, which is this one and one with a fan. This fan will actually supply air to your laptop from the bottom. So let's go ahead and uh, fold this out and see what do the monitors look like. So here we go, pull that over. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, that's pretty neat. Okay. so. There is the dual monitors. I know there's a huge reflection on them right now. I wish they would have came with some type of plastic on the screen itself. They did come with a bag, but I feel like ah, that's not enough protection, but it is what it is. I will show you the way it looks from the front, but for the time being, that's how it looks when you set it down on the base. And obviously the base is where you're going to place your laptop. All right, so let's take a look at the backside for each one of these monitors. All right, guys, so the one thing here is I don't like how the monitors actually sit on top of each other like this. They should have supplied something to put in between the screens. That way, you know, when you're carrying it around on the case, they don't rub up against each other and possibly scratch the screen. But this is the backside of one of them. Here is the power USB hub. So this hub right here is all that you required in order for it to work on the actual PC. But get this guys, if you want the other monitor to function, 
you do have to have an external USB-C power supply in order to get power to that monitor. I'm not too sure why it works that way. I wish it didn't because of the fact that it makes it a little bit inconvenient. Maybe we can use a USB-C to USB-C, plug it in on the laptop and see if that works. All right, so here's the cable itself. You're able to extend it. You get a pretty decent amount of cable that goes connected to your laptop. One end is USB-C and there is a USB-A adapter hidden inside the base itself. Here it is right here. What you do here is if you don't have a USB-C connection, plug that in, bam, converts into USB-A. So this power hub does have a retractable USB-C cable. There you go, it goes back in place, but you want to go ahead and take off the USB-A adapter so you could set it in there. That way you protect your cable from any type of damage because if you leave it like this, it's kind of dangling out in the open, right? So we did see that we're able to set the monitors either horizontal, vertical, horizontal, horizontal, vertical, or both of them vertical. So the way you do this is there is a little button on the back side of the monitors. Press the button and you kind of jiggle it. There you go. There is the monitor itself. And you do get these buttons on the bottom right here. This is to access the menu items, left, right, and the power button right here. As you guys can see, there's the power. That's the power button. Here is a USB connection, a USB-C connection. And this is where you plug in the power hub. If you're going to mount your monitor vertically as so, you will plug in the power hub on the side port that it has right here. This one is when you mount your monitor vertically, and this one is when you mount your monitor horizontally. All right, so that's one monitor right there. Let's take the other one off. Same procedure. There's a button on the back side. Press it down, wiggle the monitor, bam, it comes right out. Same thing on this one. There is two buttons for the menu items, left and right, power button, a USB connection, USB-C. This USB connection is used for power. They're located on both monitors, just in case if you do use the power hub on the left monitor or on the right monitor, you will connect your external power supply on either one of these ports. Same thing with this one. There's a power hub connection on the top part and a power hub connection on the bottom part. There you go, there's the other monitor. So let's touch base on the actual base. So as you can see, these are the mounting points for the monitors themselves. There is a little lever here that allows you to uh, adjust the tightness of this particular swivel. This cable here runs through this mount all the way through the side where it wraps around this rubber band, goes over this way and plugs into this other hub right here. If you do buy this monitor, you want to be extra careful with this. This is the only thing that I don't like about this particular stand or the way these portable monitors work is this cable here. It's a little scary to deal with this because of the fact that if it gets caught on something, you will tear it. But if you're careful with your things, then you'll have no problem. So the way you adjust this slide to push the monitor out, you turn this thumb screw right here and you slide out the actual base as far as you wanna go. So let's leave that right there. And remember, the way the base sits, you want to have enough space where your laptop is going to sit. So technically you might wanna move your slider over past the base itself, just so you could have the actual space for your laptop. Lock that in. So let's go ahead and set these up in a horizontal, vertical type of deal. So you go ahead and you grab your monitor and you slide it in place right here, as so, right there. Bam, that's in. Then you grab the ones you're gonna use vertically Put it sideways, the connector will go in here and let's go ahead and do this as so. And that's set up already. Now we have both monitors ready to receive the laptop. Let's not forget to connect the power hub, which we'll go ahead and plug it in on the left monitor itself. As so, now we're actually able to connect the PC. All right guys, so we're going to go ahead and use a Windows based laptop to hook this up. You set the computer down on the base and you kind of try to figure out how much space you need for the screen to clear the monitors themselves. The right monitor is actually touching the top of the PC. We're going to slide the base over a little bit, as so right there. This is what I'm talking about, the base allowing for the monitors to have a freestanding, no stress on your laptop screen type of mount. So I'll show you guys what I mean. Let's go ahead and open up the laptop. All right, there we go. You guys see that? It clears both monitors on the left side and right side. You could twist these in a little bit further. That way you have a little bit better view. As so, 
Bam, look at that right there. Now what you wanna do here is grab your USB drive that it came with and plug that in. You're going to go ahead and install the software based off of what type of PC you're using it on. So this is a USB driver patch. Let's go in there. It has for Android, Mac, Windows 7, or Windows 10. In this case, this is Windows 11, but we're gonna use Windows 10, right? You will install this racer display driver. This software will allow the computer to talk to the monitors and give you that triple display. I already have the software installed. It's a simple procedure. Let's go ahead and plug this in. You go ahead and you pull out the cable and we're going to go and connect the actual PC via the USB-A adapter because I do want to try something now. I want to see if it's possible to power the other monitor via the USB-C port on the computer. Let's go ahead and plug that in as so. Bam, okay. So it seems to be that they both powered on. It actually works. You don't need an extra power supply to power the right monitor or the left monitor. Now we just have to actually set them up the correct way because this one's right, but this one's wrong. You gotta go into your settings and then you go into your display. You want to make sure that the monitors are set up in Windows the way you have them physically set up. All right, so there seemed to be something funky going on with Windows and the way it detected the monitors. I had to unplug it and plug it back in now it detects the windows the way it's supposed to be. Watch this. I scoot it over this way to my left monitor, or I can put it to my right monitor. Identify. There we go. One, two, and three. All right, guys. So it appears to be that you do indeed need an external power supply in order for the both monitors to be powered on. So we're going to try to give it some power via the USB-A and use the USB-C as the display port. Let's go ahead and plug this in right here. And the reason why I'm doing this is in worst case scenario, let's say you don't have an extra power supply. We want to figure out if it's actually capable of giving you enough power through the USB-A port to the monitor and then still giving you the both displays via the USB-C. All right, the power's plugged in. Now let's plug in the USB-C. It appears to be that it will not function that way. Let's try to switch it around. Let's give it power via the USB-C and give it display through USB-A. All right, that seemed to have worked, but let's see if it doesn't start shifting around like it did earlier, where it tries to detect one monitor and it just keeps going in and out from switching screens. All right, that's twice. All right, so it seems to work, guys. It actually did work, but you have to plug in the power hub to the USB-A adapter, get yourself an extra USB-C cable to USB-C, plug that one to your other monitor on the right side. So let's go ahead and open up some windows here and see how does it actually look when you have multiple items open. Maybe you want this for your music. We got the games over here. Bam, there you have it guys, three monitors set up. Now, if you wanna raise up the brightness, you press the bottom buttons, the two on the left, far left side, and it does move up and down by increments of 10, like, just like that. Same thing with the other monitor, you look for the little buttons, increments of 10, up and down, there you go. That's 100% brightness right there. You're actually able to adjust how high you have the monitors mounted with this little, thumb screw in the back, that's as high as you want right there, or you could go lower, but we're gonna keep it high right there because that's a perfect view for me. Tighten up that back thumb screw. Now you could tilt these back a little bit further, just like that, squeeze your laptop in between both monitors. Bam, there you go, look it. You got a nice little powerhouse workstation right here, and you're ready to rock and roll. So this is a dual 14 inch setup that goes 1920 by 1080. If you do a long press, you're able to adjust the warmth of the monitors themselves. User, warm, cool, back to user. So you get user, warm, and cool. That's three different color settings. These monitors are not compatible with your iPhone or your iPad. Should we try it out with the iPad? I'm not too sure if it's gonna work. Let's give that a shot. Here's my iPad and we're going to try it out and see if indeed it does not work. Let's go ahead and plug it in right here. Give it a little few seconds. All right, they're booting up. Da, 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 da. And the verdict is 
It doesn't work with the iPad. This setup right here, obviously not with the laptop. It goes for $279.99 on Amazon. And right now they actually have a $50 off coupon. And I will leave a link in the description down below if you're interested in purchasing them. Compatibility wise, this setup does support Windows 7, Windows 10, and obviously Windows 11, as you guys can see right here. It does support Macs, but it only supports the M1 and the M2 chip. I do have a Mac, but it's Intel based, so it, it's not gonna work with that. But you do need to install the drivers that are supplied by G Story on this thumb drive. If you do witness there's flickering, as you guys might have seen here and there, you do need to add an extra power supply. That's because your computer can only power up one monitor, and two, it's putting a load on the port itself, and that's why we were able to verify Bam! Right there, guys. Plug it into one of your USB-C ports and you got some power right there. All right, guys, there it is. The G-Story portable dual monitor setup. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I think that this is something that many people that are on the go might be interested in picking up because, as you guys can see, and as I mentioned earlier in the video, it extends your desktop and you have a lot more space to play with or a lot more space to game on if you don't want to have your laptop set up like this that's the neat thing it does come with a stand where you can actually move this over and if you do turn go ahead and move this monitor over this way bam like that you could set it up however you want all right guys we're going to go ahead and pack up the monitors into the bag and see how well does it actually fit here we go all right that's so Okay, hey, there you have it. Your portable monitor in a bag, ready to go with you wherever you go. So if you're a dad, woo, a gaming dad, what did you guys think that I was gonna actually throw up the monitors with the laptop? No way, a gaming dad looking for a way to extend your desktop because you're tired of the constraint of working with one screen. Don't forget to check out my latest video, but till next time guys, I'm Tech, peace out. Now, the only problem, carrying your laptop and your monitors in your hand, out in these LA streets, I wouldn't do that.